Hi, I'm uh, Tony Finneran. I'm 60 years old. I've a uh, wife, two daughters, and now a grandchild, recent, oh, two, year, two and a half year old grandchild. Um, I've been in, in sales for most of my life and in the bus and coach industry for uh, uh, over 40 years. Uh, combined with that, I did 37, uh, you know, uh, over, sorry, over 37 years with the Army Reserve. And um, uh, my just stroke journey began five years ago. So, um, and Easter Sunday, 2013 for me. The goal settings, I think um, at the, there's, I put three stages of goal setting in. There's short term, uh, medium term and long term. That's my philosophy. Start with small pieces. From small pe things, big things grow. And so that's, uh, there's certainly a lot of frustrations with the stroke, but if you start off small goals and achieve them, so there might be just one step in front of the other, and tomorrow might be two steps, third day might be three steps. And um, just be, you know, have that as the short term goals. Um, I, I relate to them as um, my loss is personal best. So if, uh, if a gold medalist becomes the gold medalist but hasn't done his personal best, so he's one at a time, but it's not his best time, where the person who might have come seventh or the eighth in the race has done their personal best, and that's a got that's they deserve a gold medal for me, you know. So it's really about PB's uh, personal best for me, and uh, trying to strive those goals. So don't set yourself limitations, don't yourself set yourself uh, restrictions. Try and perform it. You'll find out when you if you can't do it, you'll find out pretty quickly you can't do it, and then uh, then you you know, step back, realign your goals, and another you know more take the next goal in your, in your queue and uh, practice of that and go forwards. Repetition exercise is the best way to go forward with the stroke. So if you do the same thing a million times, then your brain rewires and, and you can find a solution. So repass itself. And that's, um, so the army for me taught me that uh, if they gave me uh, 300 repetitions to, I would not do the minimum. I would do more than, you know, more than what was required. So, you know, aim for 10% more. You know, given that type of fatigue and uh, hard work, it was you know thousands, and thousands of repetitions. But um, so that that was um, pr pr probably um, the, the many less challenges. And um, so I, I was pretty um, focused on I was mission focused. I'd suppose to call it. So I had um, things to achieve. And uh, I, I, where I was like at night time, where the quiet times are, you probably tend to beat yourself up with, oh, I could have, you know, I should have done that, or I should have done this, and or whatever. And um, uh, for me, it was having the ability to pretty recognise that to say going and do like a depression state or to the dark side of a stroke. So um, self compassion, and uh, it probably goes with the congratulation aspect of. Uh, Small gains of you know small victories are good victories. So we you know whether it's, you know it's a if you move an inch or you know rigor one toe, rigor five toes, you know it's all relative to the re, the journey. So I think that you probably don't be hard on yourself. There's um, it's certainly frustrating. There's no question it's frustrating. Um, uh, you know as I say, there's a lot of cussing in my house uh, when my wife's not around, and um, but I, you just find a way to uh, resolve it in, and. Um, get around it so I think it's a very important part of the recovery journey yeah.